Hi everyone, welcome back to Colouring with Kate. Thank you for joining me today. So in this video, um, I thought I would demonstrate um, how I'm using my new new colour ones um, in this book, Matchstick Mouse. So um, a few of you were interested in seeing me work um, with these crayons on camera. Um, so these are the, um, I'll just get them, these are the non-water soluble um, crayons so this is the 40 set um, I have just recently done the swatch as well so this is a card that you get is actually the, um, the sort of this is the other side of the card but basically this this comes together like that wrapped around the tin and um, you just cut it and then um, do the swatching so these are the colours I have inside. You get some of these um, stickers of crayons and pencils, which hopefully I shall use at some point. <coughs> Excuse me. So those are the crayons. I also have the metallic set, um, which is a set of, is it 10 I think? Yep, 10 crayons. I've done a little swatch of those. Um, they're fairly metallic looking, but um, they could be shinier, but they're all right. I wanted to get get them and try them out. So um, I've also got um, some blenders. So I've got a couple of I've got a couple of Tombow uh, blenders here. There's one which I have used, and I think it might be a little bit dry, but actually it does feel wet to the touch. And I've got a new one as well, so we'll see how they fare. Um, I have been testing them out and I think the blender, the um, Derwent blenders seem to work better with um, blending this. So I've got some scrap paper here as well, actually my scrapbook. Um, <clears throat> so I've got the finer Derwent blender pen and then I've got the thicker one as well there. Um, and then I also have a bit of Sestit in here and a couple of uh, paper stumps just in case we decide to use them. So yeah, so this is just me colouring on camera um, and I chose quite a simple picture for this little demo in Matchstick Mouse by Morgan O'Brien. It's the summer book. Now I should have put a tag in here but there it is okay so it's this one that i'm hoping to get done um i like the black background there is a little printing fault there with the line coming down which is a little bit annoying but anyway we shall try to ignore that so what colors am i thinking here so if you look um <coughs> i'm gonna use the orca so we'll take that out Sometimes it's quite good to have less colours than more colours so that you don't, you know, there's less of a choice, it's easier to choose. Um, I'm going to make him a bit brownish and I am going to use a russet as well. Um, I think the light is shining too much on me so I'm just going to dim it a little bit. Um, yeah, I think this one's russet. Um, in fact, I can't even read it because the light is so in my face. So let me just push it down a bit. That's better. Um, yeah, this one's russet. Gosh. These are the problems you have when you get older. Your eyesight is just, it's just so saddening when your eyes are not, they don't work as well as they should. So next one is burnt sienna, which is this one. Oh, there is another brown there as well. Hmm. Um, but I think I will use burnt sienna, yeah. Right, so those are the four colours. There is this one here, Toledo Brown, which is quite dark, which I might leave for the moment. So, yeah, all I'm going to do, bring you in a little bit closer again. So we're going to work on the mouse's body. <coughs> so just a light layer I don't 
don't know, I just fancied using crayons after using the um, the Bambino crayons which only come in a set of 24. I really wish they would increase the size of that set because um, that would be really good. So just um, light pressure really and not putting down the crayon too hard, just light pressure. <clears throat> so I just had my lunch, it was fish fingers with a cheese slice in a bread in bread bun or a little bread roll I think it was sandwich roll and then with some chips on the side which is quite nice let's colour his feet in so yeah covers the area very quickly so that was the um, orc colour and then I'm just going to put a little bit of the russet put a bit more light so a bit more, a bit russet here. Now I did use these, I gave them like a test run um, in the Chumpy Fluff Monsters of Morgan O'Brien's dinosaur book and um, they worked quite well. You just need to not put too much pressure on because if you put too much pressure on you may leave harsh lines when you when you come to blending it which is nothing not what you want <coughs> so how's everybody doing what are you coloring this is basically demonstrating the neo color ones and a little color and chat as well I forgot to mention as well, I, I did that new YouTube thing, the thanks button. Um, I just thought I'd do it. It's just many people ask me for my wish list for Amazon, but I used to have, I had one, I did make one, but I just can't keep up with things like that. And, um, you know, yeah, I don't usually put that on there. I don't really have a wish list, a working wish list or an updated one. So yeah, and I do have these other things like, is it a coffee or a... So I just thought that one was quite quick and easy, so I thought I'd just do that. Um, why not? Okay, so that's that one. So that was Russet. Next one is... These glasses are quite dirty. Um, I've got close-up glasses. Um, oh, that's better. I just cleaned them and I thought, oh, everything's so much clearer. I wonder I couldn't read the um, labels on the crayons because they needed cleaning. So, just like with pencil, you just layer up the colours um, and once you've blended it, there's no reason why you can't go back again and put more crayon down. But what I prefer to do is usually put um, pencil... I usually prefer to put pencil shading over the top just to give more definition. We can always do with more definition. So that one was brown, now that I can actually read, um, the glasses are cleaner. And I'm just going to put the darkest colour, which was <coughs> burnt sienna. Certain places where you'd expect a lot more shadow, like, you know, on his underside of his body. So it's coming up to May half term. I mean, you are going to see this video after May half term um, because I'm just 
filming a few videos and try to get a couple done at least so that I can because I'm going to be mega busy in June and um, with work and so I thought if I can get a few videos done overall and then sort of you know schedule them for June so I don't have the pressure of you know making videos and making sure that there's something uploaded so I'm just going with the lightest colour again there that's it <coughs> so now for the blending bit so let's use so my favourite thing to use is the Derwent blender pen because I think it works the best so I've just got a piece of paper on the side of me just to make just to clean off my blender pen to make sure there's nothing you know from previous blending episodes that are gonna mess it up so um, I'll bring you in closer just so you can get a really good view and I'll move my book then so let's I mean, it doesn't really matter even if I start the dark bit because it will just blend it hopefully so you can see that that's quite good um, makes it smooths it out um, the other thing I've noticed um, with trying this out is that don't um, don't glide the pen too fast over the areas because um, you might end up with some of your pigment not fully sort of dissolved by the medium so you know don't be too fast like that for example and just moving it really quickly spend a little bit of time sort of working it into the paper I do really like the Derwent blender pens I've got to say they're absolutely brilliant but I wish they were a bit cheaper and I also, you know, because I hardly use the finer ones and they usually come in a packet. Then again, I think cult pens may sell them separately. I'm not sure. But yeah, I prefer these bigger ones, but I guess the finer ones are for small areas. But I don't usually find myself using the um, finer, um, the finer, finer tip ones for some reason. I just don't think they work as well. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with this. I think it's and it's done quite a good job. I mean, you could try this with Crayola crayons as well. It won't be as pigmented, and that might be a good video idea actually. Comparing the Neo Color ones with obviously we're comparing some really expensive media. Uh, comparing expensive brand with a more budget friendly brand but yeah it'd be nice to actually you know see them side by side as well because you could try it out with crayons I have actually got some Crayola crayons right so his tail we're going to do in let's see um, we'll go with sort of a pink I don't know, pink, uh, with a little bit of a, this is called a Sahara yellow, so give it a quick coating of that, and then a little bit of pink, oh this is actually, a, it's called salmon, oh has anybody seen the, um, Zoe from Addicted to Colouring, my um, enabler um, informed, informed me of some new Neo Colour 2 sets um, there's a warm colour tin and a cool colour tin and it's in association with an artist um, but I don't really think the new colours um, I think they're in the 84 set and I did actually ask Karen Dash and they sort of said the answer wasn't very clear um, 
and I looked through my, my 84 Neo Colour 2 set and the numbers were the same and the colours seemed the same as well so I just think they're a new combination of favourite colours like a limited edition pack they've chosen a few of them so I don't I don't think I'm going to buy them because um, they're just going to be a repeat of the ones I've got in the um, 84 new colour 2 set but yeah I don't think they're the same I think they are the same colours they're just um, the artist's favourite favourite um, colours that they've put in a tin so yeah I think I'll give those a miss if they were different I would have definitely purchased them but yeah so I'm using the same colour for the ear as um, the colours uh, for the ear as I have for the tail. Although I am going to add a little bit more. That was salmon, and I'm going to add a bit of this pink just here at the edge. Now, for blending the tail and the ear part, we will use. You will use might even put a bit of pink on the tail actually why not so blending these we'll use the Tombow brush pen see how that does oh thank you so much everyone for your comments as well it's really nice reading your comments um, and it's just so good to share the hobby with people I like minded because I don't really know anyone well in fact not really anyone I don't know anyone at all that's into adult colouring um, so yeah it's nice to be able to have this um, hobby and connect with people who also share it so yeah let's use the blender pen so I'm going to use the brand new blender pen Tombow brush pen and see how we do here. Mm. It doesn't seem to blend it particularly well. Uh, I'm going on the ear now, but yeah, it doesn't. No, it doesn't seem to work quite well with that, so I'm going to leave that. I should have put a bit of paper behind here, but. Yes, yeah, this is definitely better, the Derwent Blender Pen. Um, I've also managed to, I don't know what the Derwent Blender Pen's done, but it's sort of the black ink for the drawing has sort of um, smudged, which isn't good. But yeah, so yeah, I, I don't suggest using the Derwent Blender Pen for this. Um, sorry, I don't... I do apologise. I do not think that the Tombow uh, blender pen is good for blending out these Neo Colour ones. The Derwent blender, however, pen is. I mean, that smudges the black lines as well, so it's best to avoid the black lines, I guess. The chalk crayons, the Chalkorama crayons, they did a similar thing where they sort of smudged the black lines. I don't like that when, when that happens really but anyway okay now the other thing I thought I would do now so I think my little mouse looks quite nice actually look he's looking okay or she's looking okay I think it's a she might be a she right so I'm gonna use my just bring you out a little bit I'm going to use my new color metallics um, so for his or her hat for the mouse's little hat, we're going to use a bluey green and we're going to merge those colours together. So the blue is just called phthalo blue and the green is called phthalo green. So, bring you in again for his hat. And just, I just thought I'd use a little bit of the metallic to see how they look as well. Oh gosh, that's a bit of his ear that I've missed out. Why do I always miss stuff out? I 
I'm just so notorious for missing things out. Back to my Derwent blender. That's it. So yeah, I am so looking forward to half term. Although the back end of half term is going to be busy because that's when I'm going to start my um, examining things. Marking stuff, marking papers. Once you get into the swing of it though, it's quite good. Gives you some extra cash and really develops you as well. So now I'm adding the green. So yeah, um, next week is, the, um, I mean this video I'm putting out, I'm actually recording it in May, but I'll probably be releasing it in June, so yeah, the it's just like I said, I'm, I'm making the video earlier so I can schedule it for later because I, will, I know I won't have time in June and I don't want to be stressed because I have the tendency to get stressed when I've got a lot of things on. I like things to be done. Now I think his hat and his bag should be the same colour so it's, I'm going to still use the same metallic colours as well. So let's make it metallic bluey green as well. Um, so yeah as I was saying I'm going to, it's, it's the Queen's Jubilee next, I think they've got Thursday and Friday off but it, it, it's in the school half term holidays. Um, But yeah, I'm looking forward to the summer holidays, the July holidays, July, August, sort of, it's in the, I think the holidays start the 23rd or something, 22nd of July, something like that. So I'm looking forward to that most definitely. Right, okay, blending time now. Right, we're going to blend again, but this time I might use the zest it, so let's see if we can use a paper stump to do this. Mm -hmm. Right, then bring my book down so you can actually see doing, oh the zest it works quite well. I could top it up with um, zest it liquid, but yeah, that's um, the zest it blends the crayon quite well. Oh, it's very nice and smooth, and it looks quite metallic. I don't know if you can tell on the camera the shine. Oh yes, I was also thinking of doing a video, hopefully, if I get a chance in June, which I am hoping I get a chance to, you know, make, you know, a couple of videos at least. I'm hoping to um, do my five favourite sparkly, uh, shiny, sparkly and shiny mediums. Um, the ones that I use the most really, the ones that I'm, am I, well, as the name suggests, favourite. Because um, I think that would be quite nice for people to see um, what I rate as being the top ones. Well, not that I'm anyone important, but just, you know, most people know that I use a lot of shiny sparkly mediums, so it might be interesting for you to know what I like the best because it might inform you of what you could you might like I guess um, okay now the underneath of his hat we're just going to do in the usual new colours so let's see we need sort of a let's see a dark blue maybe um, yeah, maybe or a teal type of blue I don't know let's have a look 
th this blue goes quite well. This is um, what's it called? Malachite Mala or Malachite green. Malachite green. I used to call it Malachite green, but then I thought it sounds a bit weird. So I heard some people calling it Malachite, and I thought, okay. Because there is an ore, a metal ore contain it, well, which contains Malachite. So you go back to my Derwent blender pen. I don't have to talk about random stuff when I'm colouring. I hope you don't mind. If you're still with me, then you are, you are amazing. <laughs> you can still listen to my nonsense. Um, right now, what else? Let's do his, bring you out. He's looking okay. Oh, he or she is looking okay. I'm going to use some green here. And um, let's see if we use. We can use the yellowy green, the grass green, and the emerald green. Yeah, those look those look okay. I think. Yeah. So yellowy green, grass green, and then maybe this one I think is the emerald, yes. So yeah, I'm hoping to get an Amazon delivery today because I have ordered the lovely new book by RJ Hampson called Dragons and um, I've seen the flip on uh, Wendy's channel so Wendy, you, you helped enable me, but I was always going to get it as well. But thank you for the flip. Um, I just love watching Wendy's videos as well. So if you haven't checked out Wendy, um, let me just check her channel name. Wendy's Handmade. just can't remember it exactly. Let me see. But I watch all her videos. Wendy, there is Wendy at Happily Handmade Delights. Yeah, she is an amazing, amazing, amazing colourist. When you watch, when you look at her work, you just think, why can't I colour like that? And how is she so talented? Um, but yeah, she's, and I just, I really like listening to her as well. Um, yeah, there's actually a lot of colourists on YouTube that I really enjoy watching and listening to. Um, just think we are so fortunate that we have this hobby and we can share it with others. I really think that's, you know, something to be really grateful about. So yeah, put my mid green there and now the dark green. I'm just thinking where am I going to put metallic paint because I need to put metallic paint um, somewhere because I have to have some shine of some sort. This is probably the quickest I've coloured. It is quite a small picture. But yeah. Um, I think the matchstick needs to be metallic. I've just gotten, I just feel like it should be. Right, we're going to use the other greens. So I've got uh, light olive and olive. And I'm going to use that for these little bushes, I think. Oops, get you in a little bit there. So yeah, I will probably finish this on camera because. I want to add, um, well, actually I could do, couldn't I? I could do part two and show you how I finish it off by making it shiny and stuff. Well, by making it a K picture. Um, but very few of my pictures have um, no shine or minimum on it, you know, minimum sparkle. But there are still some because... Um, 
some pictures I don't think, very few pictures, well a few pictures I think, you know, don't need it because they're just fine as they are, but yeah. Ignore me, I'm just talking nonsense again, but there you go. So yeah, I think these two colours go so well together, the light olive and the dark olive. It says dark olive and then on the card it just says olive, so on the swatch card. There we go. Um, what about the jar? Do I need to do anything with this jar? Right, for the jar, we're just going to... I don't even know what he's probably got in the jar, but anyway, this jar here that he's carrying. We'll just make it blue with a little bit of shading. Well, actually, what we can do is make it look a bit strange. So I'm going to might make it multicoloured. So add a few different colours in so that it looks a bit mystical. I'm just picking all sorts of random colours now. So I think it'll look nice because it'll look like he's carrying something that's magical. We all need a little bit of magical things in our uh, life. There we go. And then the lid, we'll just make the lid a silver, sorry, a grey beautiful sunny day actually outside so I'm gonna I'm gonna do some work probably outside some it'd be nice to just sit outside in the sun for a bit so yeah that's that um, I might just put On his little this this bit here I might just make that grey. Right, okay. So I'm gonna add blender pen to this and then uh, let's get you in there. And then now I've just wipe wipe my um brush off. Well not brush, my um pen off. I think that looks quite nice actually. Looks quite don't want to try to go over these lines because they do make them smudge and I don't really want that to happen. And then blend that out. And then, last but not least, the little bit of grass, oh yeah, and the tail bit. I shall do that, and then, please, um, well, do you know what, just, I'll, I'll do the second part of the video for this. What I'll do is I'll say that, um, how I finish up a page. could do couldn't I and it's almost done but, um, yeah this was just going to be using Neocolor ones now I wouldn't use the Neocolor ones um, here I've used it for the actual image um, but I wouldn't use it in a really really detailed book for the image because you know the crayon isn't going to get into really small spaces but they are still really good um, but they were not going to get into really small space I mean you can use them for backgrounds especially in in um, in books that um, don't like water for example Amazon printed books um, but yeah I 
think I need to buy some more of these blender pens as well. I do really love Derwent's products. I just wish Derwent would bring out... Um, they would bring out some more ink tents, pencils. It would be lovely if they could make it up to 120 at least. Right, that's it. So I think, I don't even know if the picture needs any more pencil shading on top. Then I think it looks quite nice the way it is. But I used the metallic um, Neo ones on the bag and on the hat. And I think that's quite nice. I don't know if you can pick the shine up. But yeah, it's a bit of a shine on there. Not a massive amount of shine. But there is, you can still tell the difference. And then Neo Colour ones, the standard ones on the other parts. So yeah, I will finish this page up. I'm going to put something on the background to sparkle it up a bit. And then the lovely bees are there to colour. And then his little matchstick, um, which I'll probably use metallic paint. I may show you a second part of finishing the page up as a little colour and chat. Or I may not. I'll just see how I feel. But anyway... Thank you so much if you stayed all the way to the end. Well done. Um, and until next time, happy colouring. Take care. Bye.